evening, and welcome back to Game Like Her, playing Castlevania. More like Carouselvania. Oh. Because when you play Castlevania, there's nothing that makes you think, man, I'd love to ride on a carousel right now. It just needs to have all sorts of goat heads and demon stuff. Yeah, there's not actually any rides on there either. Like, there's no seats to sit in. Right. It's just some vindictive amusement park operator decided to make a, a deadly ride. Yeah, the only way I could think that would make you actually want to do something like that is if you actually worked in an amusement park. Maybe that is the secret origin of Gabriel Belmont. He was a carousel <laughs> operator. He got in with the wrong crowd. Which was basically the amusement park workers. <laughs> who had to work with the public. Right. So what is Alucard doing down there? And how does it help me? I keep looking away during that cutscene, so I don't have actually seen him either time. He's just like down there pushing a thing around. I mean, he gets bored. He has to work out. This is his way of uh, exercising. Right. With his super vampire strength. You know, in, in sometimes superhero cartoons, you'll see like the super strong guy lifting these impossible weights like two ton dumbbells. Right. And you just gotta wonder, how was the building designed to handle that kind of load on the floors? Yeah. Well, I always think about that. There's also the fact, like, you know, how does, like, Superman have, like, this amazing muscular figure when there is literally nothing oh, in the part. world that can actually give him a workout? Right. He should be, like, the biggest fat ass ever. <laughs> oh, I would love fat, decadent Superman. That sounds hilarious. They sort of play with it like in The Incredible, but then like he still was able to work out and get, you know, buff again. Yeah, but... yeah, got back into it. Oh, no. But yeah, like Superman should like be like this super pudgy guy. And like Wolverine, he should be like the like, most delicate, softest hands ever. Because <laughs> like there's no reason why his hands would form calluses if he can regenerate. That's true. I guess just had to survive it. Simon is so out of breath. Oh, we're in a cutscene now. Don't come any closer. You helped me once before, and now you do so again. Why? Who are you? That isn't important right now. Wait, he was helping you? Didn't seem that way. The weapon you are carrying. How did you come upon it? There is a presence in the castle that guides me. It took me to it. Like, uh, I found it. You can't have it. Find your keepers. <laughs> I'm using it to avenge my father and my mother. Oh, well, she became a blanket. It's hard to avenge someone who's your only <laughs> form of defense. He came to destroy me. He lives here. He will never return. He must have greatly angered the Dark Lord, for soon after. Dracula attacked the Brotherhood stronghold with his legions. None survived. That's the sort of thing Dracula was known for. My mother was killed trying to keep me safe. <laughs> and so now she she's became a blanket. Yeah, she's so she can keep me safe. To roam the Your father was one of the greatest safe. Brotherhood warriors that ever lived. Yet he could be really awkward when he finally gets married and he's still using his mom blanket. <laughs> Simon, are you using condoms? <laughs> or the wife is just like, I, let's, can we just use like a regular blanket tonight instead of using your mom blanket? <laughs> just using it on the bed. I like it. You shall not stand alone against him. Because you, like, your mom is like so judgmental the entire time. I don't like sleeping with my mother-in-law. <laughs> she keeps asking when we're going to have a baby. And why I'm not naming the baby after her. Yeah, I mean, like, technically she's not out of our lives, so she's not dead enough for us to name our baby after her. And I don't care for her asking me why I'm not wearing makeup today. Are you even trying anymore? <laughs> okay, so it seems like I should be able to whip that, that spot, but that spot is refusing to be whipped. 
Therefore, I will go again. Maybe Alucard cursed it. <laughs> oh, I have to push block all the way over. Oh, that's why they put a block there. They want you to just jump onto it instead of whipping it. I don't even have a combat cross. Who knows? It is clearly useless. So it's nice of Alucard to admit that he was Alucard. It's always when you see stuff like this where you're, like, you're using the whip the entire time that makes you wonder why they never made a good action-adventure Indiana Jones game. Yeah. yeah. Something like that could be awesome. But like you say, they just don't do it. Oh yeah, I'm not falling for that old obvious elevator path forward trick. More life! Yeah. Hooray! Okay, so now I have to actually crank the crank. Oh, manually. Ugh. What so a pain. So time consuming. Well, get, come on now. Did I tell you to... I imagine on the DS version, you had to like use your like your stylus at this point. <laughs> yeah, it was like probably. even more tedious. Yeah, I remember Dawn of Sorrow had a lot of awkward stuff in that thing. That was the first DS one, so it makes sense. Like at that point, like any DS game, like you, you have to justify this touch screen. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Make your menus work on the touch screen, and then we're good. We don't need to put down. Pull out a stylus just to scribble the thing now and then. Alright, so. Oh, okay, so his, his whole goal is to mess me up. Bats. It's like he doesn't even care until you start doing it. Like, I'm fine just staying over here, but if you're gonna if you're gonna try to use that crank, then fuck you. <laughs> right. Come on, man. I'm defenseless. And he's just sitting there melting my chains. Yeah, I know. I like the whole thing you have going on there. It's just... It's... Okay, the gargoyle the will point? not allow you to use your... Alright. I guess... Maybe turn on your mom shield? I had it on last time. Wow. Oh, you just have to go somewhere completely different. You guys gotta get something new to help you out. Yeah. Guardian off. We need to use some help here. I don't have any other spells, do I? I completely forgot I had holy water. I think I was complaining about someone else having holy water. <laughs> <laughs> I had it. The power was within me the whole time. Right, let's just look at some, some abilities. Tremor Punch. That's pretty sweet. Where are these guys out? Oh, look at all these cool enemies. Pow. Alright, well, I guess... Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So we have to find somewhere else to go. Need a helper. That almost went pretty poorly. Yep. Oh, you survived. Yeah. Could have gone more poorly. So there's going to be somewhere else to go. Yeah, because like, you haven't gained any kind of new mobility upgrade, so it might be something this way. No. Surely it isn't. Give us a whole new area to go to just so they could say, hey, fuck you. I mean, that would be a video game that you do. They just, you know, yeah. give you a new area and be like, oh, you have to work to get through it. Right, right. That is a Metroidvania thing. I 
Although if you're at the back trying to go grab something, it at least should like give you sort of an indication that you need to. But so, I guess it's sort of dead. But it, yeah, I mean, it did directly say that the gargoyles blocking you. So once you're up there, can you just keep going to the left then instead of going up that elevator? So I don't. No. Okay. No, I cannot. All right. Well, we'll go somewhere else. Maybe there's an objective on my map. Okay, they want me to take the green door. Well, to the doors. All right, well, that sounds like a good thing to do on the next episode, then. Yep. Okay. See you next time. Next time, good night. Good night.